All right, everybody, I'm back in the backyard again. And I didn't think I was gonna do another backyard video, but I just go ahead. One of my subscribers asked what, about the garden. What's going on with the garden? So I'm gonna go ahead and make this video. So as you can see, I've been picking a few things. I still got some string beans and I'm now today will be the last garden video. The reason why, because I'm gonna take the lawnmower now and I'm gonna mow the whole backyard down over here. As you can see, I was out here picking string beans. They're still growing. And, uh, but too bad, I'm just gonna have to go ahead and, and uh, get rid of the plant. Cause I'm just setting up the yard for the winter. I don't want all these plants back here, you know, when it's snowing and it's be a, it'll be a mess, it'll be a jungle back here with all these plants hanging around. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just picking all the extra string beans I can find on the vine and the tomatoes because there are a lot of those still on here. And I'm just going ahead. And, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set them in the window and just let them get ripe in the window. These right here I can use. I put it in a smoothie or you can just use it to cook with in a soup or whatever. So just still picking some of these out of the way. This will be the end of it. But I, I could say that was a good growing season. Uh, 2022 was a, we had a pretty good season back here growing in the backyard. Ex, uh, except for my, you know, like I said, everything I do is an experiment. So except for my uh, watermelons, when I, when I put those watermelons right over here with the uh, cucumbers, that was a no-no. So just make sure y'all don't do that. Or it, it don't have to be necessarily watermelons and cucumbers it could be watermelon and cantaloupe whatever let your watermelons be by themselves and let your um cantaloupe be by themselves so they can spread and they can get enough sunlight on them leaves as much as possible now this is something i've never seen before that's a yellow jack right there we got them yellow jacks anyway he's actually pollinating the flowers <laughs> that's weird because they use that's a wasp and they usually uh, are carnivores. It's the first time I really seen a, a yellow jack actually pollinating like a bee. Yeah, well, okay. You learn something new every day. So, uh, so I'm just back here. So what I'm doing, you can see, I'm tearing down everything. What I'm trying to do is try to find anything on the ground. So when I run that lawnmower across here, that I won't, you know, hit on no no big rock or anything like that that's in the ground. Or any of the sticks that I had put down earlier. Uh, here's some of the cherry tomatoes that came up. Look at these cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and the plant is full of them. Now, I didn't plant these, but unfortunately, I'm going to run them over with the lawnmower. So I got a lot of cherry tomatoes back here hidden in the ground. There's some more right here. And of course, I'm still picking some of these string beans. Get these out of here before I tear it on down. So, yep, I'm gonna tear this whole thing down. And then I'm gonna run it over and guess where it's going? Right inside of there. That's my, uh, what I keep all my mulch at right there. So it'll, it'll be mulching over the winter until next year. I'm gonna put that bag on the back of the lawnmower. And what I'll do, I just run it over all this stuff and I'll put it in the compost bin. And it'll be all ready to go. I'm also gonna mow my front yard too. So I don't know if y'all do that or not. Hold on for a second. As you can see still, we got the jalapenos are still growing. So what I won't do is look at the eggplants. The eggplants and the jalapenos, I'm not gonna chop those down because they're still growing, see? The eggplants and the jalapenos are still doing their thing. Look. T -t Tomatoes are growing too, though, but, yeah. Look at these, these uh, look at them down there. So they will remain. I will not cut these down. 
So maybe there will be a one more garden video. Who knows? When I when I do cut these down. But yeah, these right here, I'm gonna keep them. Okay, so the herbs, the uh, stevia, we put inside the house. They're inside the window right there. Look inside the window right there. You can see them right there in the window. Okay. So we're gonna try to overrun these. These are the, the, the strawberries. They should do, they should live in the wintertime by themselves. And they actually grew outside the pot. They actually are growing in the ground. I did not plant them. The vines came out and they grew themselves into the ground. I did stick one strawberry plant right in here. And so I think that's gonna do fine. And I did put a little one inside of there. That pepper plant won't make it. I don't have room in the house to keep it. Now, if I bring that in the house and overwinter it, then it'll be fine next year. Okay, so, yep. So the stevia we dug up, uh, some of the herbs we dug up and brought into the house. Some of them will be okay out here through the winter. Like the oregano down here. This is oregano going to the bottom of the ground. They'll be okay. Of course, the parsley does fine in the wintertime. This is a parsley plant. And we had a caterpillar came out here and ate all the leaves off of it. This row, it does fine in the wintertime, as well as the mint. Well, the mint, it, it, I mean, it, it'll die back some, but it'll come back next year. And so with the, uh, the lemon balm. So, and of course the grapevine, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this uh, netting off of it. And just, yeah, pull this netting off. I'm gonna fold it up and just set it to the, put it inside of here for next year. So I just bend and I'll keep it in there for next year. Hopefully we get a lot more grapes than we got this year, being it's gonna be the second year. But that's what the garden looks like, y'all. To the subscriber who wanted to know, that's what it looks like. And I don't know if y'all do this or not too. So I don't rake my leaves in the front yard. What I do is I uh, use a lawnmower. I just run a lawnmower over top of them. I either put the bag on it. And when it's, my tree drops its leaves, finish dropping all the leaves. I'm going to do it today, but I'm going to come back and do it one more time. I'm gonna run the lawnmower over top of it. And I just basically just mulches it down and I just put it in my compost bin. So all this goes into my compost bin. Okay, so anyway, so I'm back here moving stuff around in the backyard. So I can go ahead and get the lawnmower through here and cut everything down. So I think that'll be it. Blueberry bush is turning colors. Yep, so I got a lot of work to do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut all that down. Mow all this, all this stuff down right here. Actually, I really hate mowing it down because a lot of these are good herbs. Might just take some and put it in my, put it in the bucket before I cut it all down. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, y'all. And uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. All right, y'all. So I'm done. And that's what it looked like now. So just compare before and after. You can see I cleared it all out. All this out. Everything has been cleared out now. Clear up. I left what I said I was going to leave. I left the pepper plants. Uh, it's a little bit of tomato in there. And I kept the uh, kept the uh, eggplants. I moved the pot over the uh, that pepper plant right there. I put it over in the back side because sun actually comes through this little area right here. Off the grapevine, I took off the netting, so that's what's all that's left of it now. And that's it. Strawberry plants. Left them right here. Maybe get some decent strawberries next year. So I'm going to be growing on the ground in the pot and in that pot. I just let it grow.
And I got one little strawberry plant inside of there. I don't know if that one's gonna make it or not. Anyway, y'all, that's it. That's the before and after, so. See y'all next spring when we start the garden up again. Peace.